For centuries, mankind has faced the problems associated with tooth loss and dental maldevelopment. From old artisanal ivory teeth to modern dentures and implants, science and medicine have sought ways to restore lost teeth and restore people's confidence in their smile and chewing function. The earliest records of dental medicine can be found in the ancient civilizations of Mesopotamia, Egypt, India, and China. About 5,000 years ago in Mesopotamia, doctors used tooth extraction techniques and paid attention to gum disease. Ancient Egypt used dentures made of precious metals, wood, and bone to replace lost teeth. Ancient India developed the first treatments for tooth decay, and China had procedures for mending teeth using wire and other materials. Middle Ages and Renaissance During the Middle Ages, dentistry was not a separate science and dental treatment was based more on folk superstition and primitive methods. However, during the Renaissance period, doctors and scientists began to study the anatomy of the mouth and teeth more systematically. In the 20th century, dentistry became more specialized and innovative. In the 1950s, new materials for fillings and dentures, such as composite resins and ceramics, were developed. X-rays became common, allowing dentists to detect problems inside the mouth. In the following decades, dentistry continued to evolve, introducing new technologies such as lasers, computed tomography, and digital dentistry. However, despite all the advances, there is one area that has long remained a challenge for us and challenged our ability to achieve total comfort dental health. Many people experience anxiety and reluctance to visit the dentist, and if you recognize yourself in this description, you are not alone. A recent study conducted in the Netherlands found that 24% of adults feel fear about dental treatment. What's more, many patients who have a fear of going to the dentist that they put it off until serious problems arise. This may explain why 92% of American adults have care lesions in their permanent teeth. But there is good news. Recent research has shown that a Japanese research team is making progress in developing a groundbreaking drug that could allow people to grow new teeth. There are living organisms in nature that can regrow damaged body parts. Sharks and other animals have the amazing ability to grow new teeth throughout their lives. This process, known as polyphyodontia, allows them to constantly renew their teeth and maintain their digestive efficiency. A shark's teeth are arranged in multiple rows, and each row is a set of teeth ready to be used. When a shark loses a tooth, a new tooth begins to form in the tooth gap under the old tooth. It then gradually shifts forward, replacing the lost tooth. This process continues throughout a shark's life, allowing them to always have a complete and functional set of teeth. It is also worth noting that shark teeth have a special structure that promotes their rapid growth and replacement. Besides sharks, some animals also have the ability to grow new teeth. For example, crocodiles, alligators, and some species of lizards have the remarkable ability to replace lost teeth. They exhibit polyphyodontia, similar to that seen in sharks. So why do humans only replace their teeth once, unlike sharks and other animal species? The complexity of tooth structure is due to diet. For example, animals that eat bamboo have complex teeth. Giant pandas and some species of lemurs that eat bamboo have back teeth with many sharp bumps for chewing and crushing hard food. There are other examples of animals with unusual tooth structures. For example, Piranhas have teeth that fuse together to form a sharp blade, allowing them to retain three healthy teeth and use them while waiting for new ones to grow. And manatees continuously grow new teeth in place of their lost back teeth throughout their lives. Other animals never change their teeth, but they are constantly growing. Such species include the Madagascar polecat and some rodents, including rats and mice. It may seem that compared to other animals, humans are not very lucky to have only one set of permanent teeth for most of their lives. However, that doesn't mean that our development has stopped. Experts say that it is becoming increasingly rare for humans to have wisdom teeth, the third molars that grow when we are young and our jaw is fully formed. People have not given up on solving the problem of new teeth, so in 2002, British scientists achieved a breakthrough by growing almost whole teeth from individual cells. They used dental pulp initiator cells, which developed into enamel, dentin, and pulp. However, the teeth proved to be fragile because of the difficulty in creating the ideal structure and connection between the tissues. Despite this, the study showed the potential of stem cells and tissue engineering in regenerative dentistry. Japanese scientists then continued the research in 2007 and were able to grow nearly full-fledged new teeth 
in mice. However, the teeth had no root, which limited their functionality. In 2009, scientists were able to grow full-fledged teeth for mice using stem cells. A major accomplishment was growing a tooth root, which had previously been a challenge. However, the grown teeth turned out to be slightly smaller in size compared to natural teeth. In 2013, Chinese scientists managed to grow human teeth in mice using stem cells derived from urine. This experiment confirmed the potential of using human stem cells to grow teeth. In 2015, scientists were able to grow a new young tooth in place of an old one in an empty alveolus. They created a tooth skeleton from natural materials and grew a new tooth in it using stem cells and a growth stimulator in just two months. This demonstrated that it was possible to effectively restore teeth in place of lost ones. In 2017, scientists were able to stimulate stem cell division in mice using the substance Tiglucid, which is used to fight neurodegenerative diseases. This method allowed the development of stem cells to be guided along a path that forms dentin, the base of the tooth. In 2018, an artificial process that mimics natural tooth growth was proposed. Using a recombinant elastin like biopolymer and apatite nanocrystal growth, researchers created the conditions for tooth growth in humans. In 2019, researchers from the University of Plymouth in the United Kingdom conducted a series of experiments examining tooth development in mice and analyzing the genetic processes that govern this process. They looked at a set of genes whose activity changed during incisor growth. The research identified genes that encode various growth factors and signaling molecules that play an important role in tooth formation. These genes and molecules control cell proliferation and differentiation and the formation of tooth enamel, dentin, and other tooth structures. In 2020, Dr. Jeremy Mao and his colleagues at Columbia University proposed using stem cells to grow teeth, replacing the missing bone formation with stem cells. This accelerated the process of dental regeneration and repair, with an estimated time of 2.5 months to grow new teeth directly in the human mouth. In 2021, a team from Kyoto University's Graduate School of Medicine managed to publish a promising study. It said that a protein called USAG1 limits tooth growth in mice. By turning off the gene responsible for producing the protein, the mice were able to grow their teeth freely. In previous animal experiments, the drug stimulated the growth of third-generation teeth following the baby teeth and then the permanent adult teeth. As Katsu Takahashi, lead researcher and head of the Department of Dentistry and Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery at Katano Medical Research Institute Hospital, said, The idea of growing new teeth is every dentist's dream. I've been working on this since I was a graduate student. I was sure I could do it. It was in 2005 that researchers discovered that mice deprived of a certain gene had an increased number of teeth. It was discovered that a protein called USAG1, synthesized by this gene, limited tooth growth. In other words, blocking the action of this protein could allow more teeth to grow. Takahashi's research group focused on USAG1 and developed a neutralizing antibody capable of blocking the protein's function. In experiments conducted in 2018, mice with congenitally low numbers of teeth were given a drug that resulted in new teeth. Work is currently underway to prepare the drug for human use. Once confirmed to have no harmful effects on humans, it will be intended to treat children between the ages of 2 and 6 with anodontia. We hope to set the stage for clinical application of the drug, Takahashi said. About 1% of the population has reverse anodontia, hyperdontia, a congenital condition in which the number of teeth is greater than normal. According to research conducted by Takahashi's group, one in three cases has the growth of a third set of teeth. Takahashi believes that in most cases, the ability of a person to grow a third row of teeth has been lost over time. When the researchers applied the drug to ferrets, they grew an additional seventh front tooth. Because the new teeth grew between the existing front teeth and had the same shape, it is believed that the drug caused the animals to form a third tooth row. When dental treatment becomes impossible due to severe decay or erosion of the tooth sockets, known as pyorrhea, people lose their teeth and are forced to rely on dental devices such as dentures. The ability to grow third generation teeth could make a difference. As Takahashi said, in any case, we hope that there will come a time when a cure for growing teeth will be the third choice along with dentures and implants. The drug could be revolutionary. If the tooth regeneration drug proves successful, it could be a game changer for all of dentistry. With the use of advanced techniques and new discoveries in science, we can believe that the future of dental medicine is on the cusp of a whole new era, where healthy and beautiful teeth will become available to everyone, restoring not only their confidence and health, but also a new standard of living.